risk taker before? Before his injury in 2012, when Navy Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician Taylor Morris stepped on an IED while serving in Afghanistan. Basically, we were there to take care of any explosive hazards that, that came up. He came back missing his limbs. Go get my driving arm. It's drift time. Now a quadruple amputee, Taylor created a YouTube video drifting to challenge pro rally racer Ken Block to a ride. It should be a pretty wild experience for him. Definitely life changing, but we're rolling with the punches. It's hard, it's not easy to get this that adrenaline rush back. Taylor suited up for the ride of his life. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a tremendous amount of respect for all the veterans, especially ones that come back wounded. I love to see guys out here like Mr. Taylor that come out with such a great attitude and, and full of life. We were in the air, he'd turn the wheel all the way and we'd land and immediately be going a different direction. A different direction on the road and in life. It's one of the, the best things every time we get home is just sometimes just like to sit out in the yard and enjoy the view and take it all in. I guess I kind of took it for granted when I was growing up here, but when you come back to it, you're like, wow, this is, you know, this is pretty special. A little bit slower paced. Definitely no traffic jams. No traffic jams in Taylor's hometown near central Iowa. That's where plans for his home ownership began with Veterans United Foundation, Gary Sinise's Lieutenant Dan Band, and the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. That's why we're here, to help Taylor out. $200,000 to get this house. Every uh, little piece of independence, you know, that I can get back with with the help of a, a home that's adapted, it's just going to be that much more that that you know Danielle won't have to worry about. I wouldn't have it any other way. All too often, we take our freedom for granted, don't we? And with the help of Veterans United Foundation, hurdles in front of him are nothing compared to the ones he's already cleared. They're a very, very extremely generous group.